Good morning, everyone. My name is Ian Vignon, an independent alternative media practitioner, among other things. This is it. Today is the 9th of May, Anno Domini 2022. The day we Filipinos will make our choice. I cannot stress this enough. But we would have to do what we have to do. We have to go out there, go to the polls, and vote. Ako mismo gagawin ko yan. As much as possible, I wanna do it as early as possible. Kaya maaga akong gumising ngayon. Honestly, tinatamad pa ako. Eh, teto, hindi mo siya tinatamad pero inaantok pa ako. Puyat pa ako. Because I, I might be uh, staying awake. For longer hours tonight, and mention a gluluha yung mata ko dahil, as you may know, me being an autist, suspected autistic, meron talaga ako ng sensory overload, and kahit na ano ang ila ah tayo sound ang pinaka main ano ko sensory overload ko or pinaka sensitive ano den yung mata den Uh, na ano din ako, sensory overload kasi as I said, kakagising ko lang kakabukas ko lang ng mga ilaw dito anyway I cannot stress this enough mga kababayan go out there and vote nakasilalay sa atin yung kinabukasan ng bansa natin we have we only have we have ano, we have uh, three years We have three years to decide who would run our, um, who would run half of our, ano, half of our Senate and all of our local government positions, and six for the other half of the of the Senate, the Vice President and the President. So, the, let us make our choices known, mga kababayan. It's about time that we make our choices known because... It's about time. Now, you might ask me, Ian, sino yung iboboto mo? My short answer is secret. But my longer answer is, if you're talking about sino yung ilalagay kong presidente, I can definitely choose anyone From the ten of uh, anyone from the nine of them, and I would particularly uh, rule out the guy who is a, a number seven. Yun lang ang masasabi ko. And I think it's very much sensible because everybody hates that guy. Not because of himself, but of his family. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. So, anyone from the nine that I, you know, that I have not talked about, pwede pwede naman sila. I would keep it a a very close secret between my God and myself. Kung sino ibuboto ko. But then again. Kung sino man yun, I will not be a fanatic. Ibuboto ko lang siya knowing that he or she will do his or her job in Malacanang. And if he or she screws up, I'll be one of the first to call him or her out And uh, talk about this. Honestly, I would really want to abstain. Kung talagang ano, kung talagang, uh, kung talagang pagbabatayan ko talaga yung sarili kong standards. As much as I wanted to be 
a perfectionist or an idealist, hindi ko siya magagawa. I have to be self selfless this time. That I am doing this not for myself, not for my personal standards, not for uh, intrepid Ian and his ano, and his ideas, but for the flag right there for my country. As I said, sikreto malapit yung kung sino man yung ano, ibaboto ko sa uh, national positions. As for the local ones, sa ngayon, wala talaga akong mahanap na ano, matino. So, I'm sorry, I might abstain. But on the national posts, I can definitely, you know, I can definitely fill that up and uh, fill the Senate slate to the brim. And when I say to the brim, pupunan ko yung labing dalawa. So, mga kababayan, I hope that you would ha- uh, that you would uh, come to the polls. That's number one. As much as possible, come to the polls early. Pangalawa, if wala ka pang listahan, I advise you, gumawa ka na ng listahan. Actually, uh, nagbigay, nagbigay dito sa akin yung local government ko. Tapos, nagsulat nila ako ng, ano, ng uh, listahan kong sarili ng mga ibaboto ko. So, as much as possible, guard this with your fucking life. And, uh, dalhin nyo siya sa, ano, sa presinto. So, please, mga kababayan, make sure that you have uh, this. Make sure that you have this. Or, um, make sure that you know where you are, where uh, where your present is, uh, cluster pressing, kung nasaan yon sa, sa lugar ninyo. It's probably in an elementary school, uh, where uh, in your uh, in your own hood, and as much as possible, sulatin sulatin niyo ako sino yung ano gusto niyo iloklok sa ano sa pwesto. Okay sa ano ko cellphone pero I highly advise that you write it down on pen and paper kasi mas maaalala mo yun at pangalawa, iwas na tayo sa um, iwas na lang sa ano, sa ano yun? sa uh, batikos or sa ano sa mga sa pambabash na, sa mapa, na, ng mapanghis, mapanghuskang lipunan ng social media so, I think that's all that I can ano, I can uh, uh tell you right now. Di ko alam kung i uh, ano ko, kung ipapublicize ko kung sino-sino yung mga ano binoto ko ngayong ano, ngayong election na to. But I can definitely tell you that I need to do this not because of myself. Kasi kung ako, ako lang ang tatanungin niyo, I would have abstained flat out. Anong pakialam ko? But, I just have to. I just have to. It's a selfless act. Hindi to para sa sarili ko, kundi para sa bansa ko. And, um, we have to love our country above everything else, and second only to God Himself. And I hope that's also what you are thinking about as you wake up and finalize the people you you would trust with your with your with your life as you vote them into office so that's all that I can tell you and uh Let's make this happen. With all that said, this is Intrepid Ian Rinyon reminding you to at all times, now more than ever, today, more than any time, any time in, uh, in our lives, to be the salt of the earth, 
and the light of the world. Until then, look alive, stay alive, go out there and vote. And as always, thank you for watching. See you in the polls today, and see you next time. Ian out.